Good morning, everyone. This presentation will offer an overview of the new time benchmark focused on historical aerial images. The time benchmark is a USDR research activity realized in collaboration with several European mapping agencies and universities. The benchmark idea borrows from the great amount of archival aerial images digitized worldwide and nowadays available for further investigation. The main aim of the benchmark is to stimulate so further research activities for data valorization, also testing and developing automatic procedures for data processing and for widening the current geospatial applications and investigations. All the benchmarks share the common aim of developing automated procedures for data processing while boosting some robust data quality assessments. Previous benchmarks in the geospatial field, and in particular on aerial imageries, were focused on the aerial triangulation and DSM generation, on the object detection or semantic segmentation, and the image interpretation. So time is the first benchmark based on historical aerial images that were captured in European countries since 1950s. Eight European countries contributed to the collection of about 1,000 archival aerial images with a temporal range of about 50 years and also providing some multi-temporal datasets. Time datasets are very heterogeneous in terms of number of collected and shared images, taking cameras, image quality and format, scan resolution used during their digitization, but also for the availability of ancillary information of further details about the flight mission, so for example, the interior and exterior camera parameters, but also for the availability of gun control points necessary for georeferencing image blocks. In different cases and for several locations, also multi-temporal series are provided for widening the possible research investigations. So from the specifics of each image block, some possible research topics can be suggested, starting from the radiometric equalization and image enhancement needed in different cases for further processing image data, or the automatic aerial triangulation and georeferencing, or DSM and DTM production. With a multi-temporal series, multi-temporal analysis and change detection can be handled as a land use and land cover map generation, or more specific topics as a bomb crater detection or the automatic colorization of black and white images. Some of these topics were handled during our experiments with time data, starting from the image preprocessing that is an unavoidable task in many cases due to the relevant radiometric problems related to the digitization and scanning issues which can affect further 2D and 3D processing tasks. So in many cases, we're starting from applying standard brightness and contrast adjustment algorithm. But of course, further analysis are needed to understand the radiometric distortion and the noise level introduced with this pixel manipulation and especially for 3D reconstruction purposes. About the photogrammetric processing, a first bottleneck is related to the lack of fiducial maps coordinates needed for computing the initial transformation between the pixel and the image coordinate systems. This is especially true for the oldest datasets, so some initial approximation are needed. We started with different blocks from the course transformation, adopting a virtual reference system. We manually measured some fiducial mark coordinates for computing the affine transformation to apply to the entire block. We then cropped all the frames for ensuring the same sense of format. And we finally estimated the camera parameters in a standard abandoned block adjustment. A further research investigation was focused on the automatic tie point extraction, testing different handcraft and learning based approaches for the co registration of multi temporal tears from multi temporal datasets. The latest resulted very promising for handling this task. 
about the automatic aerial triangulation, we test the performance of different photogrammetric software to assess their capability of managing analog grayscale images. We then handled the georeferencing problem when stable over time ground control points are not available or clearly visible in historical images. In this case, and when modern ground control points are available, the corresponding points can be manually identified and measured in the historical images, but we verified that relevant error can be introduced in this processing phase. Other experiments were focused on the evaluation of dense image matching algorithms for the production of digital surface models and orthophoto, also with multi-temporal datasets. We finally explored this quite innovative research topic related to the automatic colorization of grayscale images, considering that colorized images can support further processing tasks as data classification of object recognition. We started from evaluating existing automatic methods and we finally developed a new deep learning architecture which proved to outperform existing approaches in the aerial case. For concluding, the time benchmark is an opportunity for the exploration and valorization of these historical sources, and many datasets are already available for testing and validating 2D and 3D processing algorithms. The presented experiments have shown the bottlenecks of processing historical data, but also opened to new research scenarios. For further information, you can visit the project website, while for assessing data, you can send us an email. Thanks for your attention.